Oh, I said I was going to show you my backpack. One of the things I won at Nugget Noggin Live the first year I went in 2022, 2022, 23, yeah, 2022 was this Garrett backpack. Now I recently added Velcro because the sewer in me, because I wanted to put, and that's, I think they need to add that to their backpacks. I got this for like nine bucks on Amazon. I tell you, you can get a lot of stuff on Amazon for good prices. Uh, this, I love this. I got this from Green Mountain, not from Green Mountain Metal Detecting, but his uh, Amazon store had it. And I like it because sometimes I'll put this on a belt pack depending on where I am and what I'm doing. And I love it. It opens up. It's deep. It could be a good trash bag. Um, and it folds right back up. I love these tactical things. And I have it right there. Now, this backpack is pretty awesome. I really didn't use it much. But it is actually perfect. I When I did DIV 56. Oops. Lost battery. When I did DIV 56 in the fall, um, I set it up and I wear it every day. In fact, I couldn't take it off. Girls, this is the best stuff to carry. I have carried this in my kayaking bags, rock hounding bags, hiking bags since I can remember. Since my 20s, I guess. It comes with, I think it comes in a four pack. And there's like three or four other rolls. So when this one runs out, and it, it's a lot in there, you can replace it. I love this little carrier because you pull it out. Just for those of you who want to know, you can pull it out. It's camper's toilet. You can pull it out, rip it off, stick it back in your bag. So carry this. Now I got to roll it back up. Carry this in my backpack. Sometimes I can stick it in my other thing. In here. Oh, tissues. I always have tissues. Mom always puts tissues in my stocking, so Christmas tissues. Extra battery. This was for when I was like eight to nine hours. Oh, I don't usually have two in here. Benadryl itch relief for those times you get stung or whatever. I don't usually have two in here, so I must have accidentally put two in here. I haven't cleaned this out. Oh, multi tool. Y'all, I don't know about you, but I love my multi-tools. This is one I think I got at Harbor Freight years and years and years and years ago. And look, it's green, one of my favorite color. Um, it's pliers, which is always great for fixing something. And I always have pliers anyway, because I make jewelry and people are always asking me to fix jewelry. So I love it because it turns into a pair of pliers, but then it also has the usual um, things that you can use when you're if something breaks or you need to open something or whatever i need to saw my way out <laughs> screwdrivers so anyway good little multi-tool is all, always good to have um i think that's all of it sorry okay so that's that i love that side pocket that's the quick grab pocket there's these side pockets here as well as place to put your um, water bottle and it has it has this you know this thing on the side so you can secure it I tell you once I put this on it's so well made I'd never noticed it um, I don't think I have anything else in here this actually needs to go in my my finds bag um, if you notice, it's very padded. It's very padded here. It has, when you put it on, it has um, the cross, the chest, and the belt. And I and the belt, and I used both. And it was like I never noticed it was on my back. And like I said, I was wearing this eight to ten hours every day. It's got a big pouch here with some little small packets, snacks. Those need to trash. They're open. Um, scrunchy in case hair ties break because women with hair oh this is cool this is um if you've never heard of insect shield they have a line of clothing socks bandanas i won this well actually i won socks in the seated hunt but they were really big and ugly and somebody traded me for this bandana which obviously i haven't used yet but it's 
it's insect insect um, shield repels ticks ants flot, fleas flies chiggers and midges and repellency remains effective for 70 washes so you, the clothing is the same and all the guys in my club the ONSD swear by the the shirts and the socks and things especially a lot of chiggers um, ticks and things so I keep that in there this is what I often hang off the front of my um, pouch because I can clip it right on securely and I can put if I need to carry a little money put my key in here put my chapstick in there sometimes or my eyeglass cleaner um, if I forget to take my jewelry off, I can securely, I can secure my jewelry in there. Or if I find something special, it's got nice little pockets to put that in as well. Oh, this is, I love, this is my first kind of finds box. In fact, is this, this may be my very first one. This was actually, yeah, I think it was. This was my, was one of my tackle boxes. I'm a longtime fisher person, if you did not know it. Fishing since I was a toddler boats, I have my own kayak rigged out for fishing, all my gear. So this was one of my boxes and when I was looking for something to use, I had this when I went to the Nugget Noggin Live. That was the first, was that, that was the first one I went to in 2022. And this was great for a seated hunt. I think you saw it in my last couple videos of the South Carolina hunt. It's got all these individual compartments for dividing all your stuff out and sorting it out and they stay secure. You know, I don't even often clip it on this when I stick it in my bag. Um, so I found, did find these on Amazon as well. So I bought an, at least one extra. I might have bought a couple and given, I think I gave them to my nieces. Um, so they're really great for a seeded hunt where you're finding lots of stuff. And I don't like to just dump my stuff in my bag. Maybe it makes me a little slower, but then I don't lose things out of my bag. So that is another kind of finds box that I really like. Uh, I always have rags, and I think I bought a bunch of a uh, bag full of these. Again, at Harbor Freight, these are the micro cloth. I have them from the small one up into like huge towels, like beach towel size, and I keep them in another one of my bins. See, there's one bin and two bins, and that bin has display boxes or like after I clean stuff up, boxes lots of towels old towels and these which are great for wrapping and and uh caring for um delicate bottles and things like that uh in there so i always have a couple of these plastic bag because you know you never know what you need to wrap up like i had rocks and all kinds of stuff in this bag the last trip oh oh and then this thing this was the best thing i bought last year you're like, what is that and why would you carry it? It weighs like, I don't know, one point something pounds. But it's a game changer for those of us older folks whose hips or back or shoulder or we just need to sit down. You know, sitting on the ground is one thing. But sometimes for your legs, you need to be sitting up just, a, you need to sit differently. Um, and this is the best thing ever. This is, I use this like for DIV 56 and I used it constantly and I think I got it just twisted it. Sometimes it gets a little twisted, but it's the best thing. It's a little stool and you might think, what kind of, why would you need such a small stool? Let me put it together. I would pop this thing out of my bag, sit it down and sit on it. And now the weight is sitting on the stool. You're not on the ground. You're not on a rock and it, re it relieves your legs. So this little thing, and again, like I said, I never noticed it was in my bag. In fact, at one point, this backpack, which I carried, like I said, all day long for three days, three days, two days, can't remember how many days it was now. Every day we were out, I wore this on my back and I didn't notice because again, use the straps the way they're meant to be used the strap across the front and the belt strap and I had rocks in this <laughs> I had heavy pieces of metal I had all kinds of stuff in this bag and my lunch and my water bottle and I never felt it and I had that and 
I was, and you know, guys, I am 55. I had cancer 19 years ago. My joints were shot from the cancer and the chemo. My shoulder is messed up. And none of those things made a difference when I was carrying this. It just, it's, what is the word? It's ergonomic. And that made a huge difference carrying that in. In fact, the one afternoon I had taken it out of my bag and I don't remember why. And the whole afternoon I was like, I need to sit down. And sitting on the ground or on a rock was not the same as sitting on this. This made a huge difference for my legs and my back. So anyway, just a little, and this thing, I mean, I would pop this thing out super quick. It just unfolds. Sometimes it's a little stuck because I, it usually does quicker than that, but you know, it's been sitting in my bag for a while. And it just folds, it just folds, it just folds right up. I would slip it right back into its bag and bam. So don't laugh at us old people who've had health issues. We do what we can and guess what? I still enjoy my hobby and I'm able to get around. So, so this is basically what I carry in here. Oh, did I miss that? Oh, this is, okay, I missed a whole pocket. Let me show you this pocket. If you have never had welty bandages, don't think it's just some sort of fabby thing. This is the small first aid kit. They have larger square boxes. They're nice metal boxes. They have a really large like family first aid kit. These are the best bandages, period. Inside, and I put a couple things in there like a couple Advils, you know, some Pepto. Um, but it has a quick fix kit. There are all kinds of bandages that are really great bandages, different sizes. I actually put other things in here, like some waterproof ones that I had from other kits. I tend to, um, you know, some antibiotic ointment, some, I can't, I think this is um, hand sanitizer. So everything you need to do a quick fix out in the field and you don't want to let stuff go. I don't know who was it who posted about getting cut in the field and his finger turned purple. And it was just a cut on his finger. His finger turned purple. It got swollen. It got nasty looking. He finally went to the doctor and discovered. And his finger, I think, is okay now. But he had some sort of bacteria that he got from the soil. Um, so, number one, wear your gloves. Number two, have something to take care of. Oh, I know what's missing from my bag. I think I ran out. I usually have one of those small packs of wet wipes too. Um, so like I can clean something if it's hurt or if I'm eating lunch, I don't have to eat my lunch with bacteria. In fact, I love this, this little plastic bag. I usually have and there, there I have a, what do I have? Nature's Bakery Fig Bar. Um, oh, and this, I love this bag. So let's say you found some, a bunch of bottles, a bunch of stuff. Your bag is overflowing. I got this lovely Nokia backpack, which I can stick all my extra stuff in or use it as padding. I can throw it in my back on top of my backpack. You never know. I don't want to not be able to carry something because I don't have the right tools to carry it with. So, th and again, just a few ounces and I think that's everything now. I love if I want it to, this bag has these big this big pouch here that I can put an extra coil in. It's it's a big deep and oh by the way, this is all padded. This is padded. This is it's like a velvety padded padded. Everything's padded so you can pr you could um, protect your metal detector and you, if you had one that broke down really nicely it would go in there as well. So there you go, my Garrett backpack, um, my Garrett belt packs, and then now I'm going to clean my Ace for my Apex. I'm gonna pry that off, clean it very carefully, probably wipe everything down. And those of you who have stickers, 
who haven't labeled your things with your stickers. What are you waiting for? I love my gear at Apex, by the way. And this is why you take your coil cover off and clean it out because look at all the stuff that's in there and wonder how that was affecting my metal detecting. So I'm gonna clean that out now. And I can fold it down like that and just stick it in my backpack till I'm ready to detect and then I pull it out. Lucky duck digger finding cool old relics, flat buttons, three ringers, four shoes and axes. Lucky duck digger swinging her gear at eight. Thanks for watching. Like and dirt. comment on this video and share it. And don't forget to subscribe. And you can follow me at Lucky Duck Digger on Instagram too. See you next time. Fill in your holes and take your trash. Finding old coins and toasty stinking Lincolns. Big lucky duck digger. Fill in your holes and take your trash.